What's going on guys, it's Mike, and in today's video we're going to be checking out the Nikola Jokic, or how my guy Charles Barkley likes to call him, Nikola Jokic, uh, Jokic, Denver Nuggets City Edition jersey. So this one I was on the fence about getting, I was only able to get the Swingman version. So I know Altitude Sports, which is their uh, team store, basically had the authentic version and I waited a little too long. I was like, should I, should I not? And I screwed up. So I was only able to get the Swingman version. I got it at Nike.com. So, like with these uh, City Edition drops, you have to like, you gotta be committed. If you are not committed about what you're gonna get, those things go away and then you lose your shot. But in today's video, we're just gonna go ahead and unbox the jersey, take a closer look at the finer details and see if this is something you wanna purchase yourself. So I think these are still widely available just the Swingman versions. Um, at major retailers so i'm gonna link them all in the description below but if you guys find this video helpful or entertaining an easy way to support the channel just by hitting like hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so when i drop new videos you don't miss out let's go ahead and get into it got this jersey at nike.com for 130 bucks and we got the first look boom look at that so even the swingman versions this year for the uh, city edition have the nice uh plastic swoosh then you got Nikola Jokic. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. We're gonna go ahead and start off by looking at the 75th anniversary NBA logo. So they use a plastic material just like the Authentics. And you can see they have that diamond embellishment. Make it look fancy, got the 75 on there. And it's stitched down, which is a dope feature this year. But taking a look at the collar, you see that yellow, you got navy blue in the middle. And then they have the baby blue, which is a kind of like throwback to the old baby blue colorway, which is a dope feature on the collars. Then when we go to the lettering, you got Nikola Jokic, white colorway with the little accent mark, all heat pressed. Numbering, same style. So you got a white majority and then you have like the navy blue outline and then you have the yellow outline which is nice looking, all heat pressed. And then right over here, the side panel, it's a throwback to the old, uh, what is that? Colorway that they used to have, the rainbow. It's actually diamond shaped. Like this side panel is diamond shaped, which is kind of a cool feature to be honest. And there's a lot more detail on this jersey. I'm kind of upset that I did not get the authentic. But you can see here, you got the baby blue outline, got the different colors of the rainbow. So this is a separate polyester piece and these colors are sublimated onto the jersey. So those are dyed onto the fabrics. So that is a dope feature. They have it on both sides of the jersey. And then you got dry fit on the bottom right corner. And that right there guys is the back of the jersey. And on the front side, the collar style is the same it kind of turns into a v collar there's a separate polyester piece where the two sides of the collars meet and you can see it says dn denver nuggets has a mountain kind of just graphic in the middle with the rainbow colorway and that's like screen printed right onto this which is dope arm opening same style as well you can see here the nba logo stitched you got the information off center that's sublimated, large, Honduras, recycling symbol. Going right here, we got 130. This one's a size large. Pretty much the same tags. For... Then, you got the Nike swoosh. Super sick, because it's actually stitched down compared to other Swingman years of years prior. But it is beautiful in the light. You can see how when it reflects, it makes it look fancy. Then you got Denver across the chest. It's one big heat press piece. Same style as the back, white, navy blue, and a little yellow. Nicely heat pressed. Numbering, same style as well. Nothing different from the back, just a smaller lettering. Then you got the jock tag. This one says Swingman, 75 anniversary, large. And this has this little tab, it says City Edition. Then it says Mile High Basketball, right down here. That's like printed onto it as well, which is a dope little touch to it. Little side split with reinforced stitching. You can see that stitching right in the middle. And that right there, guys, 
is the front of the jersey. And this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey. So I'm 5'6", 180 pounds. I usually go in between a medium or large, depending on like the style I want it. Um, my t-shirt size is medium, so I usually go medium. But if I want it a little more baggy or a real little like relaxed fit or want to wear a hoodie underneath, I go a size up. So with the large, you can see I lightly pull on this. You can see there's a lot of room I could wear a hoodie underneath. So it just, you got to account for your body type and the style you want to wear. But right here, you got the front of the jersey. Man, I'm still upset, man. I should have got an authentic. Um, Nike swoosh, super dope. Denver across the chest. The side panels, you can see that diamond formation. Man, that looks clean, man. Diamond right here. Then you got the back of the jersey. You got Nikola Jokic. That was supposed to be one of his rebounds and bullet passes. Like, for his size, the way he bullet passes and how accurate he is, it is a sight to see. Overall, I think this jersey is beautiful. I love the hint of baby blue where it just reminds me of the old Carmelo days. Like, man, that is dope. The diamond side panel, I think is a dope feature this year. And then just throw back to like the older colorways. And then, like I said, I'm biased, navy blue, but you get the cool little Nike swoosh and 75th anniversary. So for 130, I think it is a good deal. I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm still upset I did not pull the trigger on Authentic, so that's my mistake. Learn from my mistake, guys. If you have a jersey in mind, go for it. Or just have like a pre, when these big drops happen, have a checklist in here of like, this is what I want, and just go for it. Because if you hesitate like me, you end up making a mistake. What do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below, and hey, thank you again for watching, guys, and on to the next video.